What's going on my guys? Welcome back to the beach. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because it's Monday morning. We've got a lot of things to be excited about. In exactly one week, the new update is going to be live. I'm very, very excited to see what is going on with that. But it's also part of a new faction booster today. So as you guys know, I like to find out the faction booster with all of you at the same time. I don't look at it the night before. I look at it right here, right now. You can actually see it at the bottom of the screen that I have not looked yet. Last week, there was no faction booster, which I'm okay with. All right, it's fine. You know, it's not super exciting, but also gives us a chance to kind of just relax a bit and play whatever we want. This week, I really want something fun to play to cap off the end of this little, uh, I don't know, Rush Royale time time period because I think a lot will be different after the update and I'm interested to see what it's look what it's going to look like but without further ado let's hop on over here determining this week's fast faction booster and uh <clears throat> forest alliance and increased attack speed for the faction units okay all right so we've actually got a lot of different things that we could play so right now Pretzel is going to be just the absolute epitome of this week. Pretzel is going to be everywhere. Blade Dancer, let's try and give Blade Dancer its last hurrah because it's not getting boosted in the next uh, update. I don't really see it making a comeback anytime soon until they put talents on it, until they uh, um, improve it at all. Boreas, Grindstone, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Hunter's fun. Rogue is fun. Uh, we could try and rock with Earth Elemental. That could be fun. Let's figure out what deck we want to play for this week. And then we'll jump right into a game. First game of the morning. Let's get into it. We're rocking one of my new favorite decks, which is Boreas Grindstone. You've seen it before. I absolutely love this combination. We're not going to be working with that madness. If you guys saw that video at some point, me talking about Grindstone and how it works with the multiple... It, Ignore all of that, okay? Grindstone works really, really well with single target units. Uh, you know, I would say Blade Dancer, but honestly, it's like Boreas, Wind Archer, things like that, to where uh, it doesn't work as well with area area damage units. So like Inquis, um, there's a bunch of them. All right, let's jump into it. Boreas, Grindstone, great combination. Pretzel is going to be even stronger this week just because of the increased attack speed we've got dryad in there which is a must and i didn't really know what to put in there for my last card i could easily do harlequin dryad i easily could have done scrapper i easily could have done any number of things i decided to go summoner because if you guys didn't realize yet this is actually a full um a full forest faction deck every single card in this deck is forest faction which i think is pretty cool i absolutely love doing that when i get the chance i feel like i don't always get the chance but uh, it's always fun when you do so let's just go right there i was hoping that would be a boreas it's not because we got a rank two we've got some squares here we got some things that we can do but we are going up against the meteor uh demonologist deck which I actually played a lot in the most recent stream, which was super fun. That deck that he's playing right now, I actually enjoy a lot. And, uh, and I'm hoping I'm hoping he won't be able to handle it. I hope, I hope he'll, he'll fall off. But that deck is actually really sick. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this game is going to go. But here we go up against Virus. Have a little sip of coffee. We should take that out. No problemo. I'm just going to go up there just to get rid of it right quick. I'm going to go over here. Aboreus right there is pretty nice. <clears throat> Hit my gadget. We're going to level up our grindstone. If you guys are playing grindstone Boreas, grindstone anything, honestly, focus on your grindstone. Grindstone is so freaking strong. It's so fun, and I absolutely love that at the end of games, you will see that the damage of grindstone is going to um, outperform any other card realistically okay so maybe i'll be trying out a couple of these different decks right here i think that'll be really is wait a minute is for is uh is grindstone part of forest forest alliance i didn't even think about it actually it might not be so maybe it's not a fully uh forest alliance deck but either way we're rocking it it's not gonna matter uh let's just go here i'm trying to get rid of this guy if i can get a chance 
I'm gonna go over here. Okay, little pretzel right there is fine. Little grindstone over there is fine. I'm gonna go over there. We're gonna get this grindstone up to four, which is just gonna output so much extra damage. And that's like my favorite part of playing grindstone is just checking the damage at the end of the game. So I'm actually gonna max out my grindstone, and then I'm gonna start working on pretzel and boreas just a little bit because it does it does make a difference when you level up your boreas a good amount. Um, just an attack speed and damage overall. But guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also share the channel with your friends. If you have someone that you think would enjoy the content, share it with them because it enables me to continue making that content and it also helps us grow our Rush Royale community. All right, so all we can do is this. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. Risk it for the biscuit. That's that's pretty cool. So right now I'm gonna completely focus in on um, I'm gonna completely focus on mana upgrades over anything else. I'm not gonna worry about adjusting my board at all. The only space I have open is also a debuff tile, which I should start looking at how many debuff tiles he has. He only has two debuff tiles. Does that mean it's only a rare? Yeah. So he's got a rare negative debuff. Um, well, I get a negative debuff would mean a would mean a would mean a buff, wouldn't it? So it's just a regular debuff, um, but it's only a rare because there's only two on our on our board. To where we have three, you can see one, two, three squares, and we know that our amulet is epic. So three epic, two rare. I don't think I've literally ever paid any attention to that in the past, but we're gonna do that right now, and I think we're doing pretty well. I don't know if we're gonna necessarily beat a meteor deck. And it was nice because with this deck, we also didn't need to show off talents or anything. We got no talents. And which brings me to my next point. Guys, the update, like I said, is coming out exactly a week from today. So I am trying my best to save all my rewards, not open anything up. Okay, the season's not going to reset in a, in a week. So any rewards that are going to stay until the end of the season, if I were you, I would save them. Okay, because you never really know what kind of rewards, what kind of stuff is going to come out, whether it's collecting faction cores, whether it's, you know, they redid a unit, so now you want to go after a different unit. You never know. When updates come out, it's a little bit of madness for, for a bit. So I just want to make sure that you guys have a ton of gold, a ton of cores, a ton of, uh, you know, equipment fragments, whatever the heck rewards are out there. Save them and collect them after the update just to ensure that you uh, are getting as much out of the new update as you can. All right, but let's keep on going here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to level up. Let's do this, honestly, because rank 3 pretzel throwers make a big difference. A rank 3 pretzel thrower is far superior to a rank 2 pretzel thrower. I also don't care about that right there. Rank 2, I guess we'll just do that, honestly. Another Boreas right there is fine. I'm going to go over here. Maybe we get a grindstone. Nope. It's all good. We're going to go over here. Keep working pretzels. Another Boreas over there. We've only got a handful of Boreas's doing work, but not necessarily the end of the world. Let's go right here, honestly. Summoner is not what you want, but a Warlock shouldn't be a problem, even though he's spamming Demonologist like crazy. Let's do a little shocked face because he's going Demo so heavy. Another Boreas right there is okay. I was trying to get a Grindstone next to that boreas there but it's not really working out but we can do this actually let's risk it for the biscuit it's all fun and games until you go for a Ooh, yeah uh the only problem with that is that it's a uh it's on a debuff tile so that's not great um oh uh, whatever oh i could have put it on that guy whoops could have put it on that guy. I'll just merge those out. I honestly don't like how many. I need more. Um, <clears throat> I need more pretzels. I really do. I'm going to just merge those out. There's another pretzel. All right. I feel a little bit better. Assassin's coming in. I'm going to stop doing anything for 18 seconds. Maybe we can work back towards our portal. And we should be getting relatively close to our... Uh, active ability from gadget and I think it's actually a really good thing that vortex is this wave rather than something else but, but assassin's gonna obviously hit us maybe even hit us twice 
We tried to work back a little bit. We've got 11. He's got 11. Let's see what we can do. I think he's running out of steam a little bit. Okay, 6 mil, 5, 4. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I'm going to combine out right there. Um, I'm going to do this also. We've got a little bit of mana to work with. So let's just try and get a couple more pretzels. Uh, as I combine pretzels out. Gosh, I don't like how this is how this is panning out here. I'm going to come down here. He said, oops, I don't know why. We got another pretzel right there. We don't even have our active gadget. We're not even close. We need... I guess we only need one more. He did a ton of pretzels, but he's out of meteors. I guess that's why he said, oops. I mean, it was a matter of surviving against that wave or not. He's hitting me with a good game. I will hit, hit him with a good game, but I just want to make sure we win first because pretzel does weird things. So I just want to make sure that we're actually going to win. There's a hit. There's a hit. See, he's hitting Snowflake. You never know. You never know with this deck. You never know with this game. But there is a victory. Hit him with a good game. Not too shabby. So right here, one win in the books. We're going to check his equipment even though uh, we already know his amulet is rare. Okay. Level 5, rare. Okay. Uh, but his equipment otherwise is very, very similar. Only a level 1 Snowflake. Equipment otherwise, very, very similar, right? like I just said. Amulet is an epic, but his other ones are higher than me. We'll check out our stats here. And level 9 Boreas, no talents, versus level 9 Meteor with the first talent. I f I'm assuming he was using Fiery Bolide. Let's check. It was Fiery Bolide. <clears throat> we do have a higher level Pretzel, and we have him by 300 crit, which is significant, but I've seen... Uh, a lot worth a uh, worse matchups but one win in the books let's go right into the second game of the day and see if we can continue our uh oh i didn't look at the damage i wanted to i wanted to continue our berade on the ladder next game we go and it's actually against spirit master which i think will be pretty cool i think spirit master i don't even know what faction spirit master in i feel like it was make it would make sense if it was in either magic or forest faction i mean it's it's a, uh, what is it, a fox or a, it's a fox, right? So, foxes live in the forest, right? I mean, I feel like that would make sense, no? Let's see what we can do, okay? I don't really go up against uh, Spirit Master all that much. He's emoting with the Tesla, the new Tesla emote. Let me do the one back just to show him that we're somewhat cool. We've got a Tesla emote. Okay, I'm going to merge out right there. If we can find a Boreas that's somewhere in the middle um, I feel like we'll do pretty good. Let's hit him with a good luck here. Spirit Master. It's only a level 7. It doesn't have any talents. Well, it could be a higher level, I suppose, but it doesn't have any talents. So, uh, I'm just going to start out with re that right there. Now we're looking for a Boreas over there. Boreas on a square right here is decent. I might bring down that guy right there, but we do have Virus, so let's just kind of fill our board. We're not going to have to worry all that much about this first wave, and then we can kind of figure it out as we go but let's look at his let's look at his deck so he's running he's running the inquisitor deck but with spirit master is that also that's not the blade dancer deck i'm trying to think what other deck that would be i guess that would also be the tesla deck right same thing as tesla um same thing as Blade Dancer? I don't know. I, I don't think that Blade Dancer... Blade Dancer has Portal instead of... Instead of uh, Pretzel. Very, very... That, that selection of cards is very, very common. And we've got... Well, we've only got Pretzel in here. Pretzel and Dryad in here that, that he's using. So we're going to have to... Make do with what we got. Alright, let's get our... Uh, let's get our Grindstone up one time. Take a sip of coffee at, at the Virus. I think I recognize this guy's name, though, to be honest. Uh, all right. So I'm just going to do... I'm actually going to do it that way. Okay. Because we can do that. And we got one grindstone over there. Um, I guess we'll do that. All right. I mean, this grindstone is doing things. I'm going to go over here. <clears throat> I guess we'll level that guy up. And actually, with, uh, with Tribunal coming up next... I'm not mad about Tribunal coming up next because Boreas Grindstone, especially with that added attack speed, we should be able to output a pretty substantial amount of damage quick enough 
to take out Tribunal before it hits. We should. Especially if it's only the second boss, so we'll have to see. Let's get a Boreas right there. Boom! Let's focus on mana levels. Okay, we've got a beautiful looking board. We've got plenty that we can do. We've got four rank one um, Boreases to rank out. We could absolutely get another Boreas here to get it on a grindstone. Another Boreas here to get it on a grindstone. I almost wish that we played this deck with either Cauldron or Scrapper or something just so we could continue to level things up because that's the only thing with this deck is it seems that you get capped out at around you know rank three rank four units you're really never going to get to a rank five unless you get hit with like a bedlam and you really don't want to get hit with a bedlam with this deck so this looks great up here but that's pretty much the extent of how high they're going to get this guy could get up one more time maybe maybe we can get one of the grindstones up a couple more times but or, or one more time but that's kind of it let's see how we do we took a hit? Ew, come on, really? At least our grindstones didn't get hit, but wow, I am shocked. So, either we got really unlucky with the phase, what phase we were on, um, with, with Boreas, or he's got a really high ranking uh what's it called hunter's jacket but guys if you want to catch me live we do live stream we live stream exclusively on twitch it's twitch.tv slash game by the beach and we'd love to see you there you can play with me play against me challenge me just hang out and do nothing you can do whatever you want Live stream on Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, as well as Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Totally free. Come on by. We're going to be talking about the update, hanging out, beating dungeons. All that good stuff. It's mayhem. We've, we've had so many streams now over there. It's so much fun. It, it's just a blast. Let's get this guy one more time leveled up. We've got another Boreas. Uh, I mean... Our board looks okay. He's going with five Spirit Masters. See, I think we took that out so much quicker right there. I'm going to go right here. Risk it. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I might even rank that out, to be honest. Because we've already got these guys all connected over here. Let's do it. Let's do that. It's kind of decent. We just need some more pretzels. I'll do that. Hit our gadget. We didn't even get close to our gadget in the last game. So I'm hoping we can do a little bit more work this game. I'm honestly going to get our pretzel up one time. Let's get him up, leveled up mana level. We'll do our Boreas too, just so we've got nothing holding us back. But I think this is great. Maybe we could get this guy to four at some point, which would be nice, because we're falling off right now. But if you look at his board, he's just got way more pretzels than I do. Let's go over here, see what we can find. Another Boreas, okay. We fell off at the end there. 2.1 versus 391, uh-oh. Wow, he imploded that boss. Okay, all right, let's just keep chugging along here. Another summoner. Let's see what we find. All right, we're going to have to do this. Boom. I mean, not really not the end of the world right there. I'm going to have to go for another pretzel. Rank threes are so stinking important. Tamer is next, which is fine. Another grindstone's not the end of the world, I suppose. Let's max out our pretzel. Keep working on our gadget. That's the only thing with Boreas is you do fall off at one point or another. And keep checking. Keep an eye on his mana levels. So you can level up your Spirit Master I forget what you get it up to because I don't have Spirit Master. You can get it up to like 10 or something, 15. I don't know what you get it to. But he's at 6. He had it at 7. Now he's at 6. So he's got to periodically level up. But he also wants to use his mana to continue scrap ring. So it's just kind of like a cat and mouse game that you're continuing to play while you're playing uh, Spirit Master. Pretty cool. Five seconds. We're both falling off, but I fell off way more. But we do have 3,200 mana, so we can we can do a little bit of something something. I might do that first. Yeah, let's just do that now. Now I can do that. 
Another Boreas is fine. Nine mil to go through actually is not great. We'll go here. We'll go there. Uh, we'll combine that out. We did actually take that out. We'll go here. Another grindstone. I mean, honestly, this board's not bad. We've got rank threes on grindstone, left, right, center. We only have three rank three pretzel throwers, but at least they're rank three. Assassin is next. You look at his board. I do have more pretzels than he does now, but we're falling off hard right now. 44 seconds. We need Boreas to just go absolutely ham. You know what I'm going to do is actually combine out there and we can do that i'm gonna do that oh yo we can get our grindstone to six <laughs> pretty cool i don't know if it's gonna be enough but pretty cool another grindstone combine them out we need pretzels we don't need grindstones pretzels do 15 seconds and there is an l hit him with a good game He's rocking some pretty average equipment. He does have the legendary item, though, which I'm really, really jealous about. Um, anything else that's too crazy? No, level 7 Spirit Master. He ended up doing 134 million damage and, uh, and just kind of withstood a little bit better than me. We ended up doing 120 million between our Grindstone and our Boreas. 74 with our grindstone 41 with our boys a little bit unfortunate of an ending right there but it is what it is guys that is going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video